Hi, I'm going to show you how to use 3dtin.com to make a 3D model which you can then import into the Morphire Scene Designer wizard and create your own custom scenes like the one you see here. So first off we want to make a 3D model like we're flying through. This is quite easy in 3dtin.com. With a bit of practice you can easily move around and you can add cubes and change your view. So we're going to start off and try and reproduce what we had there. By pressing keys on the keyboard like A for add cube and R for rotate, you can easily change modes and quite quickly get what you want. That looks good, apart from a few extra cubes that we don't want. We can easily get rid of them. Now we just save it. And then we click export up here. Now we don't want to export to one of these companies that will actually make the model in 3D for you. We just want the file. So make sure SDL is clicked and click download. And download again once it's finished calculating. Now we're just going to save it. So now we can go to the Morphire Scene Designer. This is the front page of Morphire and you need to have signed in up the top right. Now just click on design your own. You can choose some different types of scene but we're going to choose one of the built-in Morphire ones which are a bit more exciting than the easily customizable versions. So we'll move along and we'll find the cube field. At the moment we're just flying through a bunch of cubes. So you can choose lots of colours as a basis for what your custom scene will look like. We'll choose one like this. Now it says please upload an image to convert to 3D but you can also upload a 3D model. Just click choose file and choose the model that you downloaded. Upload. So it's now showing it but it's far too small and you can't change it in this menu so we're just going to click next and we're going to go to the end of the wizard. We don't want to add any images or anything over it. We hit save. Now in this next web page that we get to we can click edit scene and we get a much more advanced set of options. Now there's a slider called model size so we can move it up. Actually, if we just make it as big as it can go, it joins together very nicely and gives us quite an interesting pattern that we fly through. The only problem is that very occasionally we bump into these, these bits of object that we've made. I mean, you can leave it like that, or you can just make it a little bit smaller, such that there's a gap that you'll probably fly through and it won't cause big flickers on the screen. So there you go. We can change a few more things about it. Um, for instance, we could change the type of the background. At the moment it's just this image that warps. So we can change it to a different image to change the colour. Notice the background has now changed to be red. Or we can just have a recursive background which copies what was on the screen into the background each, each frame. So if we change the number of tiles and turn warping off, it'll become more obvious what's happening. There you go, and that's quite a good scene. So now you can um, you can actually add this to Morphire by clicking Add to Morphire Playlist. You can render it to a video with your own sound, or you can actually click Settings. You can click Use Real Music, and you can have a website that uses your music and responds to it um, on the fly. Right, thanks for watching.